What is going on guys? Today we are changing bearings. The reason we're doing this so close to a setup video and the reason I didn't change my bearings before is because I thought they were good. Then the other day for Flat Bar Friday I was trying to land a manual trick and I could not do it at all. Every time I would get into a manual I would just fall down and usually I can test my bearings by just finding a nice solid smooth ground and doing a manual and leaning on my toe and then leaning on my heel. But today since I got three packs of reds these ones are actually something special I'm not sure what the difference is usually it's a black case but these ones I guess have six bigger balls stronger and faster since I have three packs I'll have an extra what 16 bearings after this so for the first time in a long time I'm gonna go ahead and change every single bearing so the first thing we're gonna do is pry this out as always I'm gonna be answering your guys questions off Instagram but today some of the questions kind of mold together and I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking about myself which is not super unusual but sometimes I try to avoid like giving myself props this is gonna be the opposite of that because I'm gonna be giving myself a lot of props so let's go ahead and read the first question so I can explain what I mean by the way usually today I would be skateboarding but it was super super windy so I'm not sure if this is gonna get uploaded on Friday if it does then it means that the two days that I did have available to skate it was too windy both of those days so I'm doing this bearing video as kind of a backup upload Danny says what's your goal in skating now just skate to skate or is there some kind of end goal you want to achieve Jonathan asks what's the most rewarding moment so far in your career? Now, I said both of these questions together because they are kind of related. I don't have any specific goals for things I want to achieve from skating. I don't think anyone starts skateboarding with a goal. Like people just say, hey, I wanna land kick flip and then heel flip and then I'm fucking throwing in the towel. I do think skateboarding is one of those things where people quit really, really quickly, which is part of the reason I never listen to anything anyone says online. I'm coming up on 19 years as a skateboarder, so there's no way that some idiot YouTube commenter who's probably going to quit skating in the next three months, there's no way I could ever let that type of shit get to me. Because I imagine those are the type of people, if they fucking exist, where they say, oh, all I wanna do is tray flip and maybe look cool in school, and then when skateboarding's no longer cool anymore, I'll just fucking go back to video games or parkour or whatever the fuck people do. Basketball. I would like to skateboard as long as I can. And I know a lot of people eventually transition from like, okay, my whole life I've loved to skate flat bars. Back in the day I skated stairs, handrails and things like that. And then once you get to a certain age, it's kind of like, well, that's not really a wise way to continue skating because just the idea of getting old is definitely going to result in a major injury if you try to do that forever. Give me a second here, guys, to pop this bearing out. I don't want to be the guy in his mid-30s that snaps his femur trying to crooked grind a rail. I'm under no delusions that I'm going to be a super competitive, super talented skateboarder forever, but that doesn't mean that I can't transition to a less impactful type of skateboarding you know even let's say i fucking let's say i did get a huge injury that doesn't mean i'm ever gonna stop skateboarding around my neighborhood with my dog a lot of people eventually sort of just do cruising or skating bowls or just a really low impact type of skateboarding and that's what i sort of see for the future and i think everyone says that shit everyone pretends like that's what they're gonna do but very few people follow through because like I said, this is a type of sport where the turnover rate is pretty fucking insane. That's why every fucking time you guys meet some bum on the street, when you guys are out street skating, first thing they always say is, hey, what's up, man? Like, I used to skate. I used to skate. Everybody used to skate, but you put that motherfucker to the test to see if they can switch kickflip, which arguably, if you ever could do that, you probably won't really lose it you might not be able to do it perfect every time but it's in my opinion really easy to call people out on sort of being fake skateboarders and that's what these people do they skate for fucking two years they quit and then later in life they still have this weird mentality like fucking skate or die dude i'm just like you we've gone a little bit off on a tangent there but that's something that is kind of my pet peeve when motherfuckers say they used to skate 
but then you know for sure that that's like a gross exaggeration. Long story short, I'm going to try to skateboard as long as I can, and when I say I'm gonna try something, I think it holds a little more water than the used to skate kind of guys. As far as answering the second half of the question, what's the standout moment of my career, I think there's been a lot. I think as far as being a YouTube skateboarder, I've achieved a lot of stuff, and that's not for me to say like, hey, I'm so cool, go me. It's more so things that I'm just really proud of achieving, and they weren't on accident. For example, just getting a YouTube channel over 100,000 subscribers, being a skateboarding channel, is a huge accomplishment. I'm not saying that no one else in the world is able to do that. I'm not saying that I'm super cool because of that, but it is something that I worked hard for and something I'm really proud of. Just being able to learn semi-advanced tricks after having been skateboarding for 19 years, I get these fucking kids on YouTube saying, oh, you don't fucking skate handrails, and I'm just like, uh, yeah, I did all that shit 15 years ago. All the shit that you guys think is super amazing, I went through it, and then I did it so much that now my body's completely fucking destroyed. Not everybody's gonna be, you know, the immortal Andrew Reynolds. But also as far as achievements, specifically on YouTube, I was one of the first guys to do the skateboarding video part where you do your own music, and I think I was even one of the maybe only people that did it in a comedy style. Most people that did make their own music for their video part eventually got laughed at, yet mine, although people do hopefully laugh at it, that's the point. Mine's not getting made fun of. Over the years, I've made over 2,000 YouTube videos. I think there's very few people, specifically skateboarders, that could ever say something like that, and I'm proud of it. Also, as far as YouTube goes, I was one of the first ever skateboarding heels. I was one of the first ever bad guys. Wecking Ball does a really great job of getting under people's skin, but I feel like I was one of the first guys to do that, especially on YouTube. And on that note, everyone thought that I was making a huge mistake. Everyone who was making the same style of videos as me would have never predicted that it would work out as successful as it has. I mean, I started Cake Muscle, and even though right now it's not super successful, there was a time when that was doing really well, and I'm really proud of that as well. We also can't forget that I was one of the only skateboarders ever to cross over to scooter riding, and not to exaggerate, I made a fucking fortune off scooter riders who were too stupid to realize that I was trolling. And having done it, I think I made that shit look really fucking easy. By the way, this is a cake muscle that's been skated. You can see the scratches. You can buy your own at cakemuscle.com for a very discounted price since I hand paint every one of these. The bearings are pretty much ready to go. I hope you guys don't take this video and just think it's me tooting my own horn, but I've worked really hard over the years for this shit, and I think that that's an appropriate response to the questions, given how hard I've worked, and I know right now the YouTube channel's not doing great, and people love to bring that up and talk shit, but at the end of the day, I did all these things, and no fucking YouTube comment can ever take away the stuff that I've achieved that no one else from here on out is probably ever gonna be able to do a lot of those things. And if they do, they're gonna be copying me. So if I ever give off like a really awkward, confident, uh, cocky vibe or whatever, it's mainly just how proud I am of myself that I've achieved all this stuff. This shit didn't happen on accident. And even if tomorrow, if the whole YouTube thing comes to an end and my company fucking goes belly up and nobody ever fucking cares about ninja lifestyle ever again, I'll still be riding around my neighborhood with my dog pulling me, enjoying skateboarding, and that's more than I can say for a lot of you guys. Or maybe not you guys, but certainly people you know. And those guys, especially in the comments, are really easy to pinpoint, so hopefully a lot of you guys are able to see through what a lot of people would say is the cocky nature of some of the videos I make, especially Ninja Review. A lot of people say, oh, Ninja can't do half this shit, blah, 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 and it's like, 
Okay, dude. I already did that shit, and skateboarding's not always... It doesn't have to always be about fucking rainbows and praising each other and high fives and hugs and fat kids dancing. Some people can take it serious, be competitive, and realize when another person could do a trick cleaner. Anyway, we've covered a lot of topics here, mainly just me talking about myself, but I hope you guys are enjoying the YouTube channel. I appreciate those of you supporting Cake Muscle, and if you want more of the chill real ninja make sure to follow me on twitch because i'm much less of a character on there and a lot more like this when we play those super gnarly kaizo mario video games so check me out on twitch follow me on all the other bullshit social media and let me know your thoughts on me i guess that was the whole subject here have a great day guys kuna matata bitches Yo!